What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Banks, coming at you live with another trade recap. And today we nailed the bottom on SPY. I want to go over how I made $4,000, how I found the bottom on SPY today, and took a trade for over 172%. Now go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of this educational content I put out on a daily basis to make you a profitable trader. Now, as you guys know, we go over a live trade that was taken in the Wolves of Wealth Discord. So let's go ahead and get started with that. As you guys can see, we took the SPY 483, zero dates. Zero dates are always high risk, uh, no matter what, what you're trading, right? It's zero date, it's always gonna be a high risk. So we came out at 172%. Gotta give a quick shout out to the team today. Absolutely tearing it up with the wins on these spy calls but you guys came here for the trade recap so let's go ahead and get started into that now as you guys know we need to always start off on the higher time frames higher time frames is your start it's going to be your start every single time don't forget it don't get so caught up on those lower time frames look at what's going on on the macro trend what's going on in the bigger picture well as we know 483 was a level from yesterday. We we knew that. But if we zoom out to the daily, right, we we had that stop around 482.75 on Friday of last week, right? That was the highest what we pushed into. Um, what happened? What's been happening this week? Well, today, well, yesterday on Monday, we came down, right? We broke out, we retested that, we held. Today we came back down, retested it, and held again. So what is this looking like? Well, if we go back to our supply and demand videos, we know, you know, base, rally, base, and now we're rallying again, right? So we'll we'll rally, we'll base, rally. Um, this is a textbook base, rally, base, or sorry, rally, base, rally, supply and demand pattern, right? So this is going to be a rally, base, rally. Um, look at it this way. If a stock cannot break a certain level, where is it going to go? Well, it's going to go to the next level. It's make trading simple. That's as much as I like, as much as I say it, trading is simple, right? We have to break it down for what it is. If the bears cannot push this price down, right? If sellers cannot overtake this level, what's going to happen? The buyers are going to overtake any sellers that are present and we're going to go up to the next level. Likewise, if it was the opposite, if buyers can't push up past the level, eventually sellers are going to overtake them and we're going to push back down to the next level. Keep it simple. All it is is a game between buyers and sellers. Whether you believe it's all computer driven, it's computer, have people, whatever you want to believe, it's all the same. It comes down to are there more buyers? Are there more sellers at a level? Are the buyers winning and are they going to win? Are the sellers winning and are they going to win? If the buyers are going to win, we're going to go up to the next level. If the sellers are going to win, we're going to go back down to the next level. Very, very simple concept. Don't overcomplicate trading, especially as a newer trader. I used to try to overcomp overcomplicate trading, you know, thinking I needed to learn more and do this and do that. It's just a battle between buyers and sellers. If we can't push down at this level, where are we going to head? We're going to head up. If we can't go down, we're going to go up. Black lives, if we can't go up, we're going to go down. Very, very simple concept. So looking at the daily, we know that this 483 is a very, very major level. We can come back down to the one hour. This is what I was watching today. The four hour and the one hour today is what I was watching. Um, you know, it gives you a little bit more candlesticks. And obviously the daily is a single candle. What am I watching here? Well, we can see that we broke out of that level. We retested that gap fill. We bounced on it today again, bounced on it right into this double bottom and a push up. So what I was looking for is if we can't push down and we're coming back into this big demand, you know, this big resistance turn of support, more than likely we're going to head up, right? So we have to play the trend until it breaks. What has the trend been? All yesterday, we tried to push down, tried to push down, tried to push down. We just could not push down, so we headed higher. After that, we came in today. Sellers could not push down. What happened? We headed higher, right? Rally, base, and now we're rallying again, right? Uh, check out my other videos. I have a lot of videos on supply and demand if you guys would like to check that out. Um, but rally, 
base rally is what is happening. So once I knew that this 483 right level is a very big level, I came down to the five minute. Coming down to the five minute, looking at my entry, right? Coming down to this level, we're coming down to this level, right? Selling is slowed. What am I looking at at this level? Well, I'm looking at, we had a nice little bullish engulfing here on the five minute. And then we had a push up, right? Because we open here. We had a back test, back test, a higher low here, and a nice little hammer candle, if you will, but a nice big push up here, um, which is something we want to see on a reversal, right? A bullish engulfing, a nice little hammer with a wick down, showing us that there's going to be, that there's buyers there, right? There's demand here close to this 483 level. Now, I did snipe this right at the very bottom here on this pullback here. Um, so, you know, could have turned into a nice scalp where we we had it lower, right? But at least I bottom ticked this and I was getting 10, 15% bare minimum on this push up. But looking at it and what I was seeing again was this bullish engulfing, nice wick down. Now, what do these wick downs, wicks mean on these candlesticks? Well, what this is showing me is that sellers try to push down here again. Buyers bought it back up and push us right up. So when we're looking at wicks uh, on candlesticks. They tell a story, right? Candlesticks tell us a story between, yet again, buyers and sellers. So what am I seeing here? Buyers bought this up. We engulfed. We tried to push down again. Sellers had another chance. Could not do it. Buyers are present. Push us up. And then what happened? We rode these all the way up for 172% selling off on that last runner on today. So this was just a clear example of looking at a major level, looking at a support resistance flip, looking at supply and demand. If we can't break down, we're going to head higher, right? And then for the exact entry, right, we came to daily. We know that this was a huge level. It was level Friday broke out, retested it, held, retested it, held, um, went down to the one hour, four hour. We could see here double bottom starting to form. And then going down to the five minute, very, very simple. Once we came down to our 483 level, we could see we had a bullish engulfing. Nice retest of it. Sellers tried to push us down again. Could not give us momentum up. There is that risk to reward to the upside. The market has been incredibly strong, right? Incredibly strong. Going with the supply and demand rally base, rally structure that was formed today. Going with the double bottom that was formed knowing that the market is very, very strong and then coming down to these smaller time frames, right? Like the five minutes is what I use, looking at a reversal where we see that bullish engulfing, the retest and a push up here, showing us that there's buyers, showing us that there is demand. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of quick, but I hope you got some concepts down when it comes to supply and demand, support resistance, understanding that if we can't head lower, we're going to head higher, understanding what a reversal looks like when it comes to coming into major levels. I mean, that bearish engulfing, right? Showing us buyers are present, trying to get a push down. Sellers couldn't push us down. We pushed right back up. This is showing me that there's buyers, that there's demand at this major level that we can clearly see on the daily so we know how big this 483 level is and we go down to the one hour four hour you can see a double bottom was forming as well again if you guys have any questions drop them in the chat would love to you guys to join the world's world discord if not keep enjoying these free videos as you guys know stay patient for your trades one thing was we took amd in the open for over 50%. And then I waited. The market was very, very choppy. I waited until this trade presented itself. Once it presented itself, I pounced on it and the team banked on it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, drop any questions you have in the comment section, like, and share it with your friends. My name is Mr. Banks. You guys can be profitable traders. I know you are. I believe in all of you. I'll see you next time. Love you guys.